Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have another card for you today using Kindred Stamps. Learning is an adventure. I made two cards today. I had so much fun last time and I thought I will make more cards using that stamp set. And I love the slide on over die from Lawn Fun. This stamp set is from Paper Tree Ink and it's called Ink It In Mini Stamp Set. And I'm going to use this for my background. I arranged the stamps on my panel. And my panel is 140 pound uh, Stratmore watercolor paper. Once I'm contented with the arrangement of my stamps, I'm going to use my Stamp Perfect to um, stamp the images on my paper. I use Bursamark ink to uh, ink up my images and stamp it on my paper. And as always, I ink it up again and stamp it on the paper to get good impression. And I added more stars on the panel to even out the spaces. After the stamping, I'm going to pour some white embossing powder on my panel. For my second panel, I use Waffle Flower Sketchy Alpha Stamp Set. And like what I did with the first one, I'm going to arrange the letters on my panel and I'm using all the letters from the stamp set. And I just arrange my stamps leaving that lower part of the panel because I'm going to cover it with road tape later. And didn't bother stamping on that lower part of the panel. And again, I ink the letters with Bursamark ink and stamp it on the paper. And I'm going to repeat it so I get good impression. And pour some white embossing powder on the panel and just cover all the letters with embossing powder and melt all the powder using my heat tool. Before I use my heat gun, I always turn it on for a few seconds uh, before I use it so I get less warping on my panel. To color my panels, I'm going to use this Prima Metallic Accents. I love the colors in this palette. As you can see, I made a swatch there and I'm using those two blue colors. I add some drops of water to activate the paint. I add some water first on my panel and drop the paint so the paint will move freely. And the brush I'm using is uh, Silver Black Velvet number 12 and this is a good brush for coloring uh, something like this. As you can see, the panels are warped right now, but when you dry them with your heat gun, they will go back to their shape. I was careful drying them though because I already have the melted embossing powder there. I don't want to overheat it. I use Gina Marie Designs Stitch Rectangle Die Set and you're probably already tired of me using this die, but this is the only Stitch Rectangle uh, die set that I have in my stash, so that's what I'm using. I'm going to use this road tape on the lower part of my panels. This is my kids road tape. We use it on the floor for their cars, but I thought I can use it on my cards today. Um, you can find this tape in the toy section in Walmart if you are wondering where I got it. I think it's only less than $3. I'm using my T ruler here to guide where I want the road tape and I want my road to be straight on my panel that's why I use the T ruler. And then I'm just uh, folding those um, tape that are hanging and um, you can also cut them if you don't want to fold it like what I did here but I just fold them and then added some clear tape. For my second panel I use um the first panel to guide me where i want the tape and i'm just uh, going to tape it down and fold the excess tape over there at the back and then 
uh, add some uh, clear tape. So I want Miss Adventure to be on the bus and I want her either on top of the bus or just out somewhere on the bus and I'm trying to figure out here where is the best place to put her. I tried to cut a slit at the top of the windows and cut lower part of her so it will fit in the bus but I didn't uh, like the way that looks so something popped in my head and it's like light bulb <laughs> what I did is cut two of the windows and that's where I'm going to place her and that looks much better so I use mental black marker to color where I cut so it looks seamless and you don't see the white edges on the windows. And I just use liquid glue and clear tape at the back to secure her on the bus. I did the same thing with this bus here. I cut a slit and then remove that piece, use my memento marker and I cut the lower part of her body. Oh, that sounds like a criminal. <laughs> and then put tape at the back and glue to secure uh, Miss Adventure on the bus. I use my cutter to snip the metal that's holding the dies and I just need this straight one right here. And that die is from Lanfon Slide on Over Dies. Place my die where I want it and I'm using post-it tape here to uh, hold my die so it doesn't um, move when I run it through my die cutting machine. I use foam tape on the back of this panel and add the foam tape all over the back panel. And I also have the penny right there to guide me so I don't add tape close to it. I'm trying out my penny so I know if it will move freely. And I also double up my foam tape here. After I'm done with the foam tape situation here, I'm going to peel off all the backing and adhere this um, panel onto my card base. And I used the uh, uh, black card base and this is uh, 140 pound uh, cardstock from Joanne's and press that panel down. I'm going to place the positive piece from the die cut using glossy accents and I will have time to perfect, perfectly align that piece before the glue dries. I put the penny in the hole and I will cut up little strips of foam tape and double it up and place it in the middle of the penny. I also use my powder tool before adhering my image to remove any stickiness so my sliding mechanism can slide nicely. For my second panel, I'm just going to adhere this on my card base and I'm using double sided tape here. I didn't turn this into interactive because I'm running out of foam tape so uh, that's why. So I'm going to place uh, my panel or oh, I use a little bit of glue over there liquid glue and then I'm gonna place it on my card base for this images I use foam tape just on the back of Miss Adventure's head and use liquid glue and adhere it on the road tape for the inside of the card I have the same color of cardstock that I found in my stash I die cut them using Ginomary Design Stitch Rectangle Die Set and I'm using double-sided tape here to adhere it in the inside of my card. For my sentiment, I'm going to use two of the sentiments from Kindred Stamps Learning is an Adventure but before I stamp the sentiments, I have extra of these images here so I'm putting the bus on this card and I'm put I'm putting Miss Adventure on this uh, card over here and I use uh, liquid glue to adhere them and I pull out my stamp perfect again to stamp my sentiment.
I use Versafine Onyx Black Ink to stamp the sentiment and I place the sentiment next to my images. I did the same thing in the inside of this, this card and I use Versafine Onyx Black again to stamp my uh, sentiment. I use my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen on the Fire Booster and on the uh, glass or face of the bus. And after we added the shimmer, our card are finished. This card right here is the one that I made for my son on his first day of school and I just put it in his lunchbox. Here are my two cards using Kindred Stamps, Learning is an Adventure. I had so much fun making these cards. As always, thank you so much for always watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.